So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. It's a leech! It's locked, all right. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time! How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Yes, Edgar, you're about to die. I won't say it's fair, but I can't say you don't deserve it. 
Your words hurt deeply, Jonathan, for they come from a friend. I... I helped you, remember? Yes. I remember. The second I saw you in that bar, I knew we would accomplish great things, you and I. I thought you were a vampire, till you brandished that cross. You looked so lost when you opened that door. For a few seconds I thought you were there to kill me. I think we were both afraid. And now, I feel true fear. Is there an afterlife? What will become of me when I'm dead, Dr. Reed? I really cannot say, Dr. Swansea. Uh, uh, in the end, life betrays us all. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? He was mortally wounded. I put an end to his misery. That is terrible, Jonathan. And yet you did what you must. The poor man. Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient? Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. 
good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker profited it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Stupid beast! If McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to end me, Leech? You'll find I will not be killed easily. Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic? Why would you... Ah. You found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to, but I must know more. What precisely are your plans? A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. It falls upon me, as once it did Marshall, to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, I wish I could join this battle alongside you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me.
The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Ah! <laughs> 
No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes, you prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you, really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long.
Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry.